in the field of sport. Outstanding in all campus endeavor. Dauntless in the art of love. The Rover Boys naturally became Navy Flyers. The eldest showed rare leadership ability. As pilot of a big ship, he was exceptionally fitted for the job. Unloving Tom was a crackerjack bird, renowned for his daring do. And Buster, the youngest, was honored for his manly reserve. Wherever these fine lads gathered, they were hailed as unexcelled pilots and gentlemen. But they also had an enemy, Dan Baxter. You can't pilot unfamiliar aircraft. Oh, yes we can, Dan Baxter. Eager to disprove the cowardly claim of their enemy, Dan Baxter. It is small wonder we find the rovers in high spirits. For today, they are checking out in planes unfamiliar to them. But the checkout chap does not seem to share their felicity. He is more concerned with dull elementary details. He seems to forget that Dick has been a skipper of a man-sized multi-engine craft. A far greater responsibility than an SNK. But finally, the ordeal is over, and Dick once again demonstrates his aeronautical superiority. Now it is time to head for home. Dick Overlock, dear me. You've always depended on your radio man, navigator, and co-pilot. But now, it all depends on you. Oh. And meanwhile, Tom is subjected to a monotonous monologue. But the fun-loving rover is too lively a youth to pay much attention to a fuddy daddy. As for this F4U, why, Tom could fly the, the box it came in. Fortunately, Buster's instructor is a more interesting conversationalist. And Buster is reluctant to change the subject. So loath is he to hurt the flight officer's feelings. However, Buster has nothing to worry about. After a dandy flight, he heads back to the field. Tower to Fox 7. Your wheels are not down. If only I had inquired into the emergency features of this machine. Try the CO2 handle. Afraid to ask questions lest you be laughed at. Hey, Buster. By the CO2 release. I don't know where it is. Hello on fuel. Here I come. Gone. And now, back to Tom. Fail to read that technical note on spin recovery characteristics. Didn't you, Tom Rover? Rush! Splinter. Well? It's Dan Baxter, sir. He's a personal enemy of ours. You Rovers haven't got a monopoly on Dan Baxter. He's the enemy of all flyers, especially throttle jockeys, hot rocks, and shrinking violets. But I'm an experienced pilot of a PB... You're a big ship operator, unfamiliar with single-engine planes. But I've been flying single-engine planes. But never an F for you. I wasn't given a thorough checkout. It's up to you to demand one. But a checkout begins before you're in the cockpit. Know the pilot's handbook, study the manuals, familiarize yourself with technical orders, technical notes, aviation circular letters, flight safety bulletins. 
see pertinent movies, and keep up on Grandpa Pettibone's advice to aviators. Thus, the Rover Boys busted the arrogant Dan Baxter. But he still lurks around the airfield, looking for a victim. Be sure it isn't you.